Hey, it's David H. Lawrence, the 17th, and we've been talking over the last couple of videos, and we're going to talk about in this video, the three main tenets of commercial uh, uh, voiceover when you approach the script that I teach in my class. Other people teach different ways. I've found this to be the most effective for me, and so I wanted to share. First, we talked about the problem in every script, and that's whatever the listener is trying to solve their problem. The job in every script, which is their job in solving that problem and your job in helping them do that. And in this video, we're going to talk about the secret. Now, it's not a secret about how to do commercials really well or really quick or to 30 seconds or 60 seconds. Let's, let's work backwards in the process, in the advertising and sales process. Okay, step number four. People buy things because they want to solve that problem. They want to get that job done, solve the problem. Companies make things. Step three, companies make things and offer services for people to buy. Step two is companies advertise those services uh, to inform customers how their products or service will help solve their problem, will help them get that job done. And number one, the benefits of those products and services and how you feel about it is what most great advertising is all about. It's not about the features, it's about the benefits and about the feelings of what you do. And the way I look at those things is, remember when we talked about there is no such thing as a secret, it's just stuff you don't know yet? Well, let's apply that label of secret to stuff you don't know yet about products and services that can solve your problem. So when I approach a piece of commercial copy, what I do is I try to identify what the secret is that the company is trying to reveal, the knowledge that they're trying to reveal, the awesomeness. Some people call it a unique selling proposition, a USP. That's a, an advertising term. What makes one product or service better than their competitors or better than doing nothing at all? Because one of the things that people try to sell is not just against their competitors, but also against the notion that if you just leave everything alone, it'll be fine right? So they always are talking about, you know, either do this or don't, but if you do it, you're going to be happier, right, with our product. So how you share that secret, once you identify the secret, is really the crux of what I think about when I'm going to, uh, when I'm going to do commercial copy, when I'm going to voice commercial copy. I think, what does the listener or viewer need to know that they don't know now that can help them make the decision to use my advertiser, my client's product or service to solve their problem and to get their job done. And if you look at it that way, again, everything we've talked about so far is don't look at the script as like, you know, uh, how to read words well on a page, how to pronounce things properly, how to get things done in 59 and a half seconds, you know, all these things that sometimes creep in as we try to be perfect about what we do how you share those secrets are not cosmetic. It's the authentic and authoritative story that you're telling about your client's product or service. And so you stop thinking about, oh, <clears throat> I'm going to make my voice really deep, or I'm going to be friendly and accessible. And no, just be you. Reveal the secret. You know a secret that somebody else doesn't know. And if you reveal that secret, you're going to help them solve their problem and get their job done. It all ties together. So how do you find out what the secret is? You read the copy and you look for what are called discriminators. It's fast. It's inexpensive. It's awesome. It's uh, a secret, obvious a secret. Like there was a commercial that ran in the 70s like, oh, ancient Chinese secret, huh? It was about, um, you know, a laundromat that had a special Chinese secret for doing their their laundry. Would never air today because it's just, it's like it borders on racist. Uh, or secret, it's the secret sauce that they put on the ribs. Or the word secret is used a lot, but you can find a secret in every single piece of copy. And then when you go about revealing that secret and you do so in a way that is you know, you're the biggest fan of this product, you're going to share with people how to get their job done, how to get their problem solved. You're going to solve a problem for the listener that they may or may not even know they had because you're going to be sharing a secret and revealing that secret to them. That's going to get you to the goal line. It's a whole lot better than trying to be a certain age range or a certain style, you know, cheerleadery or uh, edgy 
or accessible, right? You know, just tell the secret, tell the story, reveal the secret and do so with joy because that's really the key to doing great commercial work. I hear it in every commercial that I fall in love with on the air. Now, the problem and the job, there's one of those for every piece of commercial copy too. You can read or watch the other videos that I did on those. Just look for them on the site if you're watching on vo2gogo.com, which is where I'd love for you to be. We've got all kinds of cool stuff here on vo2gogo.com. Um, if you have any questions about this, you know, if this is kind of confusing to you or you get it and you want to tell me you get it, uh, or you have any questions, you know, what's the secret? How do you reveal it? Um, give me a comment below. And, and also tell me if this makes sense to you. Like when you look at copy, do you look at it from the perspective of getting things physically done well? Or do you look at it from the perspective of helping the consumer use the client's product or service to solve their problem? I just want to know if this is making sense to you. If you want to know when the next video is coming out, subscribe to my channel. There's my head. Click on it. If there's no head there, well, then there's a subscribe button somewhere on the page. And if you want to see the last video that was uploaded and released, go ahead and click on that frame right there. They will play it for you wherever you happen to be seeing this video. I'm David H. Lawrence, the 17th. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow.